Hey folks, this is JR with DIY Prepper. Welcome to the channel. When it comes to solar generators, most people want something big. And if I'm honest, I'm kind of the same way. I'm a little like Tim the Toolman Taylor from Home Improvement, you know, more power. <laughs> but as someone who gets to test a lot of new solar generators and who also uses them daily, I can tell you from personal experience that many times, smaller power options actually have a lot of advantages over their bigger brothers. So today, we're going to talk about why a lot of folks out there would actually benefit from investing in a smaller solar generator. But before we get started though, I would like to thank Jackery for sponsoring us today. One of the biggest advantages of smaller solar generators is something that a lot of folks tend to overlook, and that's just how easy they are to carry around. I know that may not seem like it's a big deal, but if you're in the middle of emergency or a camping trip or just trying to get something done around your property, it matters a whole lot more than you would think. Smaller solar generators, especially ones like the Jackery 300 or Explorer 1000 version 2 are light enough that you can actually carry them with one hand and you could even throw the 300 in a backpack if you needed to. Having something that weighs seven pounds or even like 25 pounds is a lot more manageable than something that weighs 100 pounds or more. Even though they have wheels, the larger whole home options aren't gonna be something that you just willy nilly toss in the back of your car before a weekend camping trip. And having something portable can be beneficial in a lot of situations. First, there's travel. If you're someone who camps overlands, does van life, or just likes spending time in the outdoors, a small solar generator is going to be way more useful than a giant home backup system will. You can take it with you, set it up in just a couple minutes, and then move it around wherever you are as you need to. You'll be able to use it to run LED lights around your campsite, charge phones, or maybe even like a 12 volt cooler. Then having something you can move around is useful at home as well. Let's say the power goes out and it's the middle of summer. You might want to keep a fan going in your bedroom or run a light in the hallway for the kids. With a small solar generator, you can actually move it where you need it at the time. And the same goes for things like storm shelters or interior safe rooms. If you got a tornado warning and you need to hunker down in a closet or a basement, good luck hauling a 130 pound power station in your closet with you. But with a smaller unit like this, you could just grab it and go. You'll have light communication and the ability to charge devices and it's not going to throw your back out in the process. Something like the Explorer 2000 version 2 would have plenty of power to keep stuff like that going for quite a while without being too difficult to move around. But if you want the best of both worlds, something with a ton of power that you could still move around or load up in the car, then the Home Power 3000 is a great option. Like with larger options, you can use it to power multiple large appliances at one time, and you can even connect it to a transfer switch or RV using its 30 amp outlet. That allow you to power multiple circuits at one time without having to run a ton of extension cords all over your house that you'll trip over and, and be fire hazards. But on the other hand, it's still fairly small for what it can do. Even though it weighs just shy of 60 pounds, its small form factor makes it fairly easy to move around and it won't take up much space in your home or car. The Home Power 3000 is actually the smallest three kilowatt hour system on the market. So it's one of the best choices out there if you want something manageable that can still run pretty much anything in your home. And right now, Jackery's offering big discounts on the Home Power 3000 and their other solar power options as part of their Prime Day sale. You can save up to 65% depending on what you order. And if you want to learn more about that, then be sure to use the links and discount codes in the description below. Then another situation where portability is useful is evacuations. If you ever find yourself needing to bug out, whether it's from a wildfire, a hurricane, or anything else, you want something that you can load in the car quickly and that isn't going to take up half of your trunk or back seat. A smaller solar generator gives you backup power for the road, for hotels, or for shelters, and still leaves space in your vehicle for other things that you're going to need. And if you live in an apartment or a rental property, a small or mid-sized solar power option may be the only thing that you can realistically do. Most landlords aren't going to let you install something like a transfer switch, but small solar generators can be stored in like a closet and then pulled out whenever you need it. You can even set up your panels on like your balcony or hang them up in a sunny window. Then if you have something small, you can also use the same generator in multiple locations. Like I've used mine in the house, at hunting properties, and on road trips. You're not locked into just one place. If you want to run power tools at your bug out location, you can do that with something like the 1000 or 2000. If you want to take it to a campground or run an air pump and a Bluetooth speaker, 
then you can do that with pretty much any of them. So it's very flexible. And if something does go wrong, like you need to get out of town or your in-laws lose power, you can take that power source wherever it's needed. You're not leaving a $4,000 home battery system behind because it's wired into your home or too big to load up. So yeah, while I do enjoy having the bigger power options, especially for longer term power outages or heavy duty home use, they're not always the best tool for the job. And when it comes to portability and convenience and just being able to adapt to whatever you need it for, smaller solar generators have a lot to offer. Then another advantage that small solar generators have is that they're a lot more well suited for use outdoors or at off-grid locations. If you've ever gone camping, done any overlanding, or just spent time working on something at the far edge of your property, then you already know how valuable portable power can be. Most of the time when you do stuff like that, you're not trying to keep a full-size air conditioner going. Instead, your needs are probably a lot smaller. So starting off with camping, when you're off-grid, whether it's a state park, national forest, or even just your buddy's land out in the middle of nowhere, a smaller solar generator can be a game changer. I've used mine to run LED lights, keep my phone charged, and even power a fan because, well, that's kind of necessary in Texas during the summer. Then some people may use them for other things like CPAP machines, and all that's doable without hauling around a 100 pound power station or firing up a gas generator. There's a lot of campgrounds that won't let you run a gas generator anyway. Small power stations are also easier to keep charged up. Just set up your panels next to your tender truck and let the sun do the work. And with something small, you're not going to need like a huge array of panels either. A couple of 100 watt panels or a 200 watt panel should be enough to keep everything running even if you stay out there for several days. Then if you're RVing or doing van life, the benefits are even bigger. Space and weight are at a premium any time that you're living out of a vehicle, so having a power station that doesn't eat up half of your storage is always a big win. Something like the Home Power 3000 shouldn't have any problems running electric coolers, charging power tool batteries, keeping laptops and Wi-Fi hotspots going and powering small induction cooktops or other small kitchen appliances. Some folks even carry a second power station with them that they can use while their main one is charging from panels, and that kind of flexibility is pretty hard to beat. You're not permanently hardwiring anything into your van or having to bolt down a 100 pound power bank. Small solar generators are plug and play, so when you move to a new rig or you decide to change your setup, you can just unplug it and take it with you. You don't have to do any rewiring, there's no tools or stress involved. Involved. Another thing that people don't think about a lot is tailgating and backyard events. Small solar generators are great for powering speakers or even a small projector if you're doing an outdoor movie night. And since it's silent, you're not breaking park rules or annoying the neighbors with loud engine humming in the background for hours on end. And then there's the off-grid cabin or tiny home crowd. A lot of folks who are trying to live more simply or just want a weekend getaway to get away from all the craziness, they start out with small solar generators as their first step into off-grid power because they're affordable, easy to use, and can run most of what you need to. Then you can always upgrade later on, but a compact unit gives you a way to get started without needing to install like a whole solar power system. But one of the most important reasons to own a solar generator is for emergency backup power. And this is an area where smaller units can really shine, especially when your goal isn't to run your whole house. Instead, maybe you're just trying to keep essentials up and running when things go dark. The bottom line is that when the power goes out, it's pretty hard to keep everything running. To do that, you'll either need a standby generator tied into your home's natural gas line, a fully integrated solar power system with roof-mounted panels, or a combination of the two. Most of us are in all reality, just trying to keep food from spoiling, stay connected, and maybe run a fan or two to make things just a little more comfortable. And small solar generators are perfect for things like that. Phones, radios, flashlights, LED lanterns, tablets, routers, battery chargers are all low wattage items that a compact power station can keep running for hours or even days. And power stations are a lot safer to use with those kinds of devices since they produce cleaner energy than a lot of fuel-based generators do. And since they're safe to use indoors, you won't have to run extension cords through windows or doors. You can just set the power station down wherever you need it. Then solar generators are also quiet, which is another big advantage over fuel-based options. They might have a little fan in here that kicks on every now and again, but that's nothing compared to a gas generator that sounds like a lawnmower running for several hours. 
that quad operation is a big deal, especially in apartments or suburban areas where you want to keep a low profile for the sake of security. Another thing that I like about solar power options is that they're easy to set up and use. A few years back, the power went out while I was at work when I was still teaching and my wife was at home with our son. She probably wouldn't have been able to get our gas generator set up and going, especially with our son running around because he was like two at the time. She was, however, able to grab one of our jackeries and plug our crock pot into it and save our dinner for that night. Another advantage of solar generators is that you can keep them charged so that they're ready when the power does go out. And smaller power stations, since they have a smaller capacity, may not take as long to top off if there's a storm coming your way. That's especially true for newer models like the Explorer 1000 and 2000 version 2 that can charge to 100% in one or two hours respectively. In addition to AC charging and solar panels, small power options can also be recharged from your car's 12 volt outlet, which is useful if you're using it on a road trip or you need to top it off while you're bugging out. Doing that wouldn't be practical with with larger power stations, especially if you want to recharge them all the way. And if being able to do that's important to you, be sure that your power station comes with a car charging cable or order one separately. So while larger solar generators can power more stuff for longer, smaller options recharge faster or easier to move around your house and many times can still do most of what you would use a larger option for anyway. And all this makes small solar generators incredibly versatile. While you may buy one for emergency use, you're probably going to end up using it a lot more often than you'd expect and in ways that you didn't plan for. Like this week, we've used one of our small power stations to power my son's race car track. We're able to set the track wherever we wanted to without having to worry about where to plug it in because finding outlets can be a pain. Then when I'm working at my desk, I usually plug my laptop into my home power 3000. I just keep it next to me on the floor and I don't have to deal with my charging cable stretched out across the room. So I really do use my for daily convenience a lot more than I do for emergencies. If I'm at home, I'm probably going to use one of my generators at some point during the day. Then another advantage of having small solar power options is that sometimes two smaller units are better than one big one. You can use one unit to power devices or appliances while you recharge the other one, and then you can rotate them. That gives you a lot more flexibility than one big unit that takes forever to recharge and can't be easily moved. It'll also reduce or potentially eliminate downtime for things like freezers where it'd be difficult to power them inside of your home while your generator's recharging from panels outside. Then, since you have two, your power system becomes a lot more redundant because if you have one big generator that fails, then you're going to be up a very unpleasant creek without a paddle. But if you've got two or three smaller ones, you've got a backup built in right there. Plus, you can also use them in different places at one time. You could use one to run your freezer and the other to run power tools outside if you need to make repairs. And from a cost standpoint, having two small units may actually be cheaper than one big one. Even before sales, small solar power stations like the Jackery 300 may only cost a few hundred dollars, while mid-size options like the Explorer 1000 version 2 are less than a thousand. And if you're not going to go through the trouble of installing a transfer switch or you don't want to purchase a large panel array, you may end up wasting many of the capabilities of a larger power system. Small solar power options are also easy to scale. You can start with one and then add a second or third as your needs grow and just build out your system over time. It's great if you're prepping on a budget or if you want to avoid putting all of your eggs in one basket. So at the end of the day, investing in one or more small solar generators can give you some big advantages depending on your situation. If you want to see my full backup energy plan, then click here. Or if you want to see a full review of Jackery's Home Power 3000, then click here. Once again, I'd like to thank Jackery for sponsoring us today and be sure to use the links and discount codes in the description below to check out their Prime Day sale. Thank y'all for stopping by. Y'all have a good one.